everyone. I'm um, sorry I haven't made a video in a while. I've just been working on my house a lot, um, so I haven't been doing a lot of the tech stuff. I don't know. I was th actually thinking of just making some videos on some of the house stuff. I have some interesting things I did, um, some things I learned that I think would be helpful to other people. And what's funny is I looked at my most viewed videos, and my second most viewed video is on like my dishwasher, which has nothing to do with the tech stuff I normally do on my channel. So um, if you're interested in that home um, renovation stuff, maybe I'll do that. So the main stuff I did was my floors. Um, I think some of my videos I've showed it before, but they're pretty much done now. I did a lot of the baseboards recently too, so you can see those are all nailed in, um, almost pretty much complete. Um, so yeah, baseboards and um, and then this bathroom was a pretty big job. I still need to finish my uh, uh, master bath, but yeah, so I had my uh, family uh, friend um, do these tiles. Um, they already had the tiles laying around, so they just did the, I just paid them for labor, and then I bought this IKEA vanity, and light, and mirror, and everything, and then me and my wife built those shelves. So, and we painted. We haven't finished painting, actually, but, um, yeah, put the baseboards in and everything, so. It turned out pretty decent. Um, so, just doing some house stuff, so I haven't been, but I did buy a bunch of this junk recently. Um, to improve a couple things. Uh, I'm kind of getting ready. I've started um, Monero mining. So um, I have a video on the, uh, on my channel about, uh, I made a plugin for free NAS for mining uh, Monero or other um, Kryptonite or Kryptonite light based coins. Um, so I've started doing that. And so I'm kind of preparing for summer because I feel like these s systems right here are gonna start overheating because all of these are mining. That's this is my uh, PF Sense router, my, which is mining. I could turn that off. It's making very like a few cents a day, like two cents a day. Um, this is my web server, which is mining, and that's my free NAS um, rig. So I've I've done a couple upgrades. So if you've watched these videos before, I'll, I'll go through what's changed recently. Um, you might be able to tell some of the stuff, but um, so I haven't done really anything on here. This is kind of doing what it's been doing. Um, uh, I'll start with my free NAS. So I actually, well, I'll start with this. Um, so this used to be an, this is my web server. This used to have an, um, a Xeon E3 1230v2. So that's like the Ivy Bridge um, 1155 generation. So really old. Um, because those are just the motherboards they still have in here. Um, I don't plan on upgrading unless the CPU isn't enough, which um, I think it's fine what it's, for what it's doing. Um, so, I actually upgraded that to the highest Xeon they have for this motherboard that you can find regularly, which is the E3 1270 V2. So I had the 1230, or no, I had the 1240 in here. Um, I got the 1270, and I took the 1240 in here and put it in here. I took the E3 1220 that was in here, and I'm gonna put it um, at a, uh, my sister's house where she has a, a PFSense. Um, server that also does her media streaming there. So it's also her media server. So um, kind of moving stuff around just so that uh, everything has a processor that could potentially mine. And I'm just mining on everything if it's if it equates to be profitable. So um, so that was the main thing here was I upgraded, the, um, well, one of the things was I upgraded the CPU. And the other thing which you can notice right off the bat is these two cases used to be the same. I got this for 10 bucks. It might have been free after rebate or ten dollars after rebate, and I had two of them actually. One I bought off Craigslist. I was trying to. I should have got two, but I bought off, bought off Craigslist for like ten or twenty bucks. Um, but this, as you can tell, has no venting, um, and also it's cheaply made. It's I don't even know what brand this is. Um, this is Cooler Master. This is the N two hundred, and I really really like this case. This is a micro ATX. This is a um, X nine SC L motherboard. Um, or the X9 SCM, those are um, the common SKUs of this motherboard, but it's a micro ATX motherboard, so I wanted to get a micro ATX case because to fit two of these in this um, in this um, shelf that I built. Um, but what's nice about this is this is completely um, ventilated, so you can kind of see through here. Um, it has a lot of airflow. I've been checking the temperatures. It gets about 70C on the CPU, even with, um, this is running my, um, it's running five, uh, three and four megapixel cameras in my house. So most of them are three megapixel, but I have a four megapixel and I have another one I'm gonna install. So it's running ZoneMinder to um, analyze those cameras. It's running uh, my 
NZB indexer, which also takes a lot of CPU, depending on if it has stuff to index. And it's now it's also mining with uh, all four cores, so um, it's making less than a dollar a day, but maybe like 80 cents a day, a few minus power costs. So it's doing a lot, and so I needed to keep this thing cool, especially with summer coming up. I might stop mining in summer because energy costs go up, and um, profitability might go down by then for Monero, but um, we'll see. Uh, I'll, I'll check back then. Um, I think at that point, my power might be anywhere from like 13 cents to 20 cents. Right now, it's only 11 cents, so I'm just mining now, and plus that latent heat is not a big deal because it's cold in the house, so I kind of like that it's producing heat. So. That's why I'm mining. I started mining like end of December. So anyway, so I upgraded the CPU, got this case. This was about $40. I got it from Staples. Um, I price matched at Staples, which is pretty cool that you can price match there because I always get Staples money. Um, and the CPU cooler, I had this in there before, but with this case, it this is the um, this is the Hyper 212. It stuck out and I had to cut some of this so to get through. But with this case, um, the lid is here, but I took it off just to show what's inside. Um, it goes it can completely cover it doesn't it doesn't hit those heat pipes at all So what's cool is now I can close the case completely I get complete ventilation the other things I like about this case um, Especially if you I mean if you're using a server or if any other case um, Any other use case um, there's two SSD slots that you can put in there and they don't even block airflow because they mount um, You kind of put these nubs on the back of them and then kind of clip them in They're like rubber rubberized so they, they hold in there pretty well so I got the two SSD, those are operating system drives, and I have two NVMe drives um, back there as the uh, like database and um, running the database. Um, I might actually even upgrade that at some point. Once I can get Optane drives cheap, I might get the 900p or something similar, you know, um, like the 280 gig. But those are like $300 right now. I don't. That's just a lot of money. That's the end up being about seven hundred dollars to upgrade two of them to get two of them, because I'm I have those mirrored. So something I'm thinking about in the future, maybe when that goes down in price. Um, but this is staying pretty cool. It's I think it is slightly cooler with this case because it's able to pull more air through. You can kind of feel some cold air through because this entire thing's vented. Um, those SSDs aren't in the way, and there was um, there's like whatever goes here, and there's like a hard drive chassis. You can actually unscrew those. This one you cannot unscrew. This is like the, you slide your DVD drive or whatever. Um, you cannot unscrew this one, but because it's kind of like, um, the metal's kind of like melted in, um, but there's, or grommeted in or whatever. The other two things that were in the way you can take out. So you have even like maximal airflow for just one fan. I could put a case fan here too. I think it can fit like a 140 millimeter, but um, for now, at least until summer, this this uh, 120 millimeter on my on my CPU cooler is working pretty well, and uh, it's keeping it at about 70 degrees C with this closed and the closet closed, maybe up to 72 ish. Um, right now, it'd be significantly cooler because I have the case off and have the door, the closet door open. Um, uh, so, oh yeah, I also upgraded all my fans. I don't know if I ever showed that, but I got. Um, so I upgraded that fan, I upgraded this fan. Actually, I completely changed this cooler, so I'll talk about that. And then I upgraded these, um, the two case fans that are in here cooling the hard drives. Those are all now, um, what are these called, Noctua, Noctua fans? So um, I think they're a little bit more reliable. I did have a fan die before and my server kept shutting off. So these are supposed to be like, have a really long mean time to failure. So it's, not, it's nice there. Also, I think, quieter if you can keep them at low RPM. So um, this closet still makes noise because these two are like the industrial Noctua fans, the two that are on there. Um, I didn't realize I was buying different ones. I probably would have stuck to all of these, these ones if I could have, but um, that's what I ended up with. And it's not super loud. I don't stay near this closet. Um, so that's pretty much it on this one. So I really love this N200. If you have a micro ATX, um, this is a great case overall for 40 bucks. It's a good case to use um, Have it in there. I got Three of my I got the three PCI slots um, Filled I got the two NVMEs and I got my um, 10 10 gigabit um, Network card right there connecting to my free NAS. So that's it right there. Um, this is my free NAS that uh, I've done a couple upgrades so If you can see here, this is the lid. This is the I think N No 
it's the Norco 470, I believe. I got it for like 70 bucks. I don't know if that's the base price, but you can get it around there sometimes when it's on sale. Um, so it's a pretty basic 4U case. Only problem is you can't fit like a Hyper 212 in there. But there's this new cooler that people are raving about and I realized it does fit. I was looking at all the measurements. I checked them like, I had to check like all the measurements. I was looking at the diagrams and everything to make sure it would fit and it just barely fits. If you see here, I could put the lid on. Problem is I already cut the lid. So I can either get a new one of these or I might cut it even larger and then put a new plate and then weld it on or something. I gotta figure a way to connect it so that I can put this on without ever hitting that cooler. Um, I think this cooler is wider than the 212 was even though it's lower. So the, the main points was I needed this to be low enough, need to be able to support a, a low enough um, heat sink. Oh, this is called the, uh, I think, Cryo Rig, C-R-Y-O-R-I-G, Cryo Rig H7, I believe. Um, I'm using the fan it came with because um, I read a review that said that it works well with its own fan. I think they even checked it against Noctua's. Um, if this ever dies, I'll switch it with the Noctua. But, um, it seems to keep it very very cool as well. It's in the um, high 69 degrees um, range with everything closed up. Um, I might might get to the 70s. Ah, sorry, it's not focusing. There you go. There's a little bit of a focus. But that's it. It's similar in design to the, the um, Hyper 212, but I've read it has better performance. Um, I think that just the way they design these fins is better. It has a lower profile, so you could fit it in more cases. I think it might be like 147 millimeter profile um, the, uh, it's not just this though you also need the case fan to fit so because I don't have low profile RAM over there I don't know if you can focus on that let me try to get the light in there you can see the RAM it's actually in this case this is designed like a server motherboard where the RAM goes um, towards the back where the IO shield is um, that fan actually overlaps like two of the RAM slots so if you're using all the RAM slots um, it just barely fits. So this fan, I have it almost touching. So the based on where you clip it to this heat sink is where how high it's going to be, and you can have a, have a little bit of play within each clip. So I kind of have it so it's almost touching, and then that will almost touch the top here. So it's still not per. I mean, it's not still not ideal. Every time you put the lid, you don't want to kind of lean it and bump the fan and kind of smash your RAM. You could just buy a low profile RAM. I think they have RAM that's like as low as the clips, so like half the height. Um, that's an option and this would never hit it then and you could make this even a little bit lower. You still would almost hit these nubs right here. These are the heat pipes, but this thing comes with the cover, so you're not as worried about damaging the heat pipes. Um, so overall, this is a great heat sink. I, I like it more than the Cooler Master Hyper 212. Um, I got it for maybe like 20 bucks. I mean, this one's used, um, You, I think, regular price is about 30 35 so um, I definitely recommend that especially if you have a Norco 470 or planning on building a server like this where you have 10 hard drives with fan cooling and but you want like a pretty beefy heatsink that you're gonna do like mining or, or database stuff um, CPU intensive stuff I recommend this kind of cooler it, it works pretty well um, and it fits in a in a 4u case at least this one so um, there might be other design cases that are taller so you can fit any any heat sink but I like this one um, for the price it's not even that much more than the hyper 212 and I from what I'm reading it performs better and it's lower profile so um, anyway that that's all the main stuff I wanted to cover this video is super long like usual but yeah I hope you enjoyed it um, um, and I will see you guys I have some upgrades coming in the future um, not this the P900 I'm not gonna spend money on that but I did actually buy an Optane drive for like 15 bucks or like 18 um, with shipping and everything. So I'm gonna put that in here as a Zill. So right now my Zill is a Intel 313, so it's an SLC SSD. But um, the Optane ones are super low latency, so there's even better for a Zill. Uh, I bought a 16 gigabyte one for like $18, like I said. So I just need to get an adapter. I'll stick it, hopefully it's not too long and it can fit. Oh geez, that's another issue. I need to make sure it can fit next to there. Because it needs to be in this first slot. So I'm gonna have to do some measurements to make sure whatever adapter I get fits. But um, that's the plan. Get get that in there and now um, 
yeah, that's um, going to be pretty cool. A uh, nice little thing to test out. So hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later.